I'd let you to know that. That we need nothing. nothing. I got this pot. Look who's here. Hello. We weren't successful with the wood. Welcome back to my channel and to a vlog. I'm vlogging today and it's going to be a really, I hope it's going to be a really nice vlog, um, a really nice like cozy vlog uh, for you guys to just enjoy. I'm heading out of my flat, as you can tell by the title. Um, I actually filmed this video pretty much the same time last year with Ewan and I dropped him a message and said, would you like to go back to Sunbury Antiques Market? And he was like, absolutely. Uh, if you didn't see that video a year ago, I'll link it up top. Um, it was when we just got Maggie as well, so she was so small and just, oh my god, all of the feels. I'm so excited to go back. I have nothing that we need. We're just going to go and have a really nice day. I'd like you to note that. <laughs> again, and again, and again, and again. That we need nothing. nothing. <laughs> but I can guarantee now, he'll come back with just bits. Just bits. Some pots. Like, There'll be more no. pots to hold more things. No, don't need no more holding. pots. No. Last time I set myself a budget of hundred pounds. This year I'm taking thirty. I'm taking thirty pounds. Just on the off chance, but like genuinely we need Do you need no cash by the way? Huh? Do you need cash by the way? Yeah, I'm gonna get some. Oh I've got some. Do you? Mm. Why do you have cash? I just do. She's rolling in dollar. <laughs> sure, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Um um yeah, so Zara's so I was looking after Maggie today because Maggie had an operation and she had a spear done. They recommend, vets recommend they get it done a little over a year. So um, yeah, that's what we did. I'll show you her little medical suit. Hello little one. So yeah, we ordered this off of Amazon. Um, the vets obviously give you a corn to go on um, the head to stop them getting to the operation area. But we found this online and um, yeah, the vet said it was a brilliant option. So it just keeps her nice and toasty. means we don't have to put the heat on. And um, yeah, it just keeps her from her wound. So Maggie won't be coming to the antiques market with us because she's about six days post op so she just needs to take it easy so um yeah Zara's looking after her today. So yeah it's gonna be a nice day, a really nice day. I hope it's gonna be a nice day. <laughs> and the weather is very chilly so that's why I've got all this up. Um, so yeah I'm not gonna waffle anymore. I'm gonna head in the car, go pick up you and then we're gonna go and shop for some antiques. Look who's here. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, we morning. Just arrived. It took us just over an hour. Um, so we're technically in Surrey, but this is Sunbury Antiques and it's in the Kempton Racecourse. Um, spoke about this last time. I'll leave all the details down below if you are in the area or if you're planning a trip. It's the uh, second Tuesday and last Tuesday of every month. Come rain or shine. Rain or shine. We've got shine today. It's very <laughs> warm. It's lovely, but it's nice, like autumnal, crisp. It's a gorgeous mm. day. It's lovely. Yeah. So I just said to Ewan in Ewan's vlog, um, Ewan's vlogging today as well, so you can also head over to his channel and see what he gets. I feel like whenever we do these vlogs, we always catch different bits whenever I watch I know. them. Like, you, 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 and then you don't, haven't seen it. Exactly. I know. But um, yeah. yeah, we're just going to have a nice old mooch around, so I'm just going to pick the camera up and just you can pause and have a little look. I'll try and get some more um, shots because last time I brought Maggie and it was so stressful oh, yeah. having her. It was like one hand on a dog trying to film. Yeah. So this year it's going to take it nice and easy. We've got here later this year so yeah. um, it'll just be a nice little mooch and then um, yeah, we'll see what, what we get in the end. I'm looking forward to yeah, it. Me too. Very much looking forward to it. Right, should we go? Let's go. Let's go. So we're on our way and we can see people have got some treasure already. This is very exciting. So yeah, this is the arena over there. The um, race course, sorry. So yeah, we need to get you in some cash. So we just asked where the nearest cash machine was from the Stuarts and um, it was Jenny, we just bumped into a lovely woman called Jenny who said she watched what we did last year, so um, yeah, nice to be back. Yeah, very nice. Very nice to be back. Very, very <laughs> nice to be back. Right, let's, um, let's find you in some cash. Right, we are in. Oh, there's some lovely treasure already. Spot this very, very nice desk. That is incredible. My granddad used to have something very similar to that. There's trinkets galore. As soon as you come in, we've got everything from baskets to pieces of iron. Little milk storage, beautiful. Some nice still life artwork as well. Have a little look. 
That's a nice little dinnerware and bits and bobs, some lovely plates and balls. Wow. I feel like my nanny used to have something very similar to that. It's very cool. Look at that light fitting. Isn't that amazing? I feel like it's definitely from a pub. It's been polished up beautifully though. I imagine I can see that above like a pool table or something, but you could definitely do that in a, uh, a dining area. Those bread bins are very cool. I like them, like the enamel bread bins. They're very nice. Some brass pans, aren't they? Gorgeous. Really, really lovely. I'd love to see those hung above a cooker or copper. Really, really nice. I say this quite a lot on my blogs, but um, second-hand kitchenware is great. You know, you've got rolling pins there, some serving spoons, cutlery, bread knives, a little bit of everything. Spider, Fortnum and Mason basket, they're always a fan, a fan of you and he always sees those. They're so nice. Love that artwork, that's really pretty. The colours are gorgeous. Saying to you and I got a piece of art last year from this market, so they've got some really good pieces. You've just got to keep your eye out for them. If you watch my Wimbledon Antiques blog as well, you'll know that we got the Persian rug from there. Um, but it is rolled up and it's in our cupboard. We're just not bringing it out in this flat just because with Maggie and whatnot in the hair. But um, yeah, Persian rugs for days. Looking huge as well, massive. Really good quality as well. I just want to check the pile of them and see, you know, if they're threadbare but they all feel amazing. I think this is actually where I got my artwork from last time so I can check these guys out and see if they've got any new pieces. Useful. Those chairs are really nice as well. I think they're such a nice set. Gorgeous. There really is just such an eclectic mix of everything. Yeah it'd be nice with the easel wouldn't it? That'd be lovely to have on like a little sideboard somewhere. Quite like this one as well. Gorgeous the colours and the textures as well of the oil. Lovely. Just spotted this flower pot. Chap said he can do it for 15. I think that looks so nice on my countertop with flour in. Ewan got me ceramic lacrosse, one that I actually do use for flour, but I can use self raisin and normal. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna get that. So, I just made my first purchase, and then um, the chap who actually bought my art piece from last time, I just saw he had some sketches from, um, it was from a fashion illustration book from 1930, so nearly 100 years old. And they are 50 pounds, a little bit expensive very tempted I'll show you them once we go back but um, we're in the main part now it's kind of like where all of the main people do hangouts this is where you spot all your treasure it's absolutely stunning I love the colors of that that's gorgeous it's an old typewriter here I absolutely love these how gorgeous are they it still works as well it's got all of the um, keys on nice color isn't it the typewriter it's beautiful I like this little um, sideboard as well oh they're nice yeah. The glassware. Yeah, the sideboard's lovely. There's just so much to take in. Cool little vintage seat. I've just really got to get involved with these things and just have a little rummage. I get a lot of questions about my balance skills actually and I've just spotted a nice set here for 25. Cool old radios as well. Those chairs are good. Not bad price, 25 each. Could reupholster those as well if you weren't keen on the um the green. I think they have been reupholstered though. These baskets are lovely. I'm loving the size of like the, how chunky they are. I'm very tempted by that. We've just got a new throw in the living room. It hasn't really got a home yet, so that is very tempting. These stools are quite nice as well. They'd make for like a nice upcycling project. You could give those a nice little sand down, repaint them. Gorgeous. This is the exact chair I used to have in my old um, home in Brixton. Uh, Brixton's in Greenwich, sorry, it's a Queen Anne's chair. You know, I, I often see them and they've reupholstered the um, the base. It's absolutely beautiful. It's quality of these. If you find a good one, get it and give it some love because it will last for years. Got an old style director's chair here or similar. Bound in like a nice tan leather. Imagine that's going to be quite a lot. Yeah, 399 that one. That's gorgeous though. Really nice. You could use that as a um, an island. Look how big. Oh, sorry about my shadow. That's huge. These are like large pieces of furniture. So, if you are ever moving home, definitely consider thrifting second hand because you get some beautiful new made pieces for like a really good price. Look at these lanterns as well. How gorgeous are they? <gasps> wow. They're incredible. Got a little polo set here as well. That's so nice. Got some more pieces of furniture. It's quite similar to the um, angle poise lamp I got at the um, London Home Shore. Vintage Home Shore, sorry. Very nice, bit more rusty, but um, yeah, very nice.
I like this dining table, that's nice with the chairs that tuck in. It is. I think that's the extender bit in the middle, isn't it? And you can close that up. Those chairs are gorgeous, so, so nice. Wow. We've come to the second main part now, so this is kind of like a lot of just vendors all together. Um, quite like this spun wood table, it's 25, it's gorgeous. I'm trying to um, hold this as steady as possible so you guys can freeze if you want to take anything in. Quite like this piece of artwork. It's very similar to the one I got last time. That's the dream. Something like that as an island would be... Oh God, with all the cooking bits and bobs on, so lovely. Oh gosh, look at those knives, wow. Oh my goodness, so much dinnerware as well. Look at this, isn't this incredible? Wow. You've got to be a little bit like an owl, haven't you? You've got to yes. like look like this. Scanning. Scan both ways, if you could do a full 360 of your head. Some lovely mirrors behind like French barn house style mirrors. It'd be a nightmare to um, put up on the wall. But yeah, yeah, very, very lovely. If you could lean them in. Yeah, that's true. And there's some more art over here, let's have a look. There's something about oil paintings I just absolutely love. I just feel like they, I don't know, like the work that goes into them is incredible. I just saw this one, this is very nice. Some pears, a lovely bit of still life. Just saw this woman selling all of these lovely little book bundles in different colors. How gorgeous are they? If you wanted to do some like decor pieces, I'm very tempted by these ones. It's such a gorgeous like selection of colours. I've got some nice green ones as well, I'm very tempted by those. You and just spotted these knobs for an upcycling project, so I'm gonna grab those, absolutely. I'm just looking at the artwork underneath, I quite like this glass one, that's um, the glass one, the brass one. It's very nice. I just got some more treasures over there for two pounds each, you and spotted them both. Such a good bargain hunter, honestly. I very, very much enjoy this mirror. It's a little bit, you know, slightly out there, <laughs> but very cool. Got some nice copperware down here too. Sorry about my shadow, it's the light's really tricky. Another lovely piece of still life, that's very nice. The frame's in good condition too. More angle poise lamps too. Nice red colour. <laughs> These are quite nice as well, a little, I think they're basset hounds. Or beagles, lovely. The furniture here is so, so good. The quality, look yeah. at that. They just don't make things like that anymore. Just with like the joints, as well. yeah. It just opens and closes really nice. Gorgeous. Ewan's getting involved, having a little look. Just amazing. There's just so much to see. It goes on for so long. All these little wooden stills. These chairs, I keep on seeing this style of chair. If you know in the comments what the style of chair is, then let me know because I just love them. It feels like 70s, 80s, but I could be wrong. Lovely, very well-worn armchair. <laughs> a reupholster's dream. <laughs> it's quite a nice trunk. It's got the um, initials of the owner printed on the side as well. We've got a bob, B-O-B. -B. <laughs> Leathers and lovely neck as well. It's gorgeous. These are old school desks. Oh my gosh. With the lids, yeah. Chewing gum. Anything like that? Yeah, that'd be so nice. A lot of people come here and buy props for um, shoots and you know films and that kind of thing, so they'd be perfect for that. I was just saying to you, and I can't wait to like when we move to curate like a kitchen that just isn't off of the shelf that has like something like this, like a little, you know, create something like that with like a little bits and bobs on top. Pop that on a wall somewhere, with, like storage, just like a little pantry, just to make it a bit different. I love that. It makes sense in my head. <laughs> Probably doesn't make sense. But yeah, you could like paint that or something like this. I remember this stall from last time. They sell all of the paddles and then they've got all of the pots as well. How incredible are these? Those of you who are eagle eyes, you'll be able to remember I bought one of these last time. Absolutely beautiful. I'm very tempted about one of these vases to go in the hallway for the project I'm currently working on. They're 12.50, but I might ask if they'll take 10. I just got my jug. There's a little story about this one, so I'll tell you more about it later on, but I'm very, very happy with this. It truly is a feast for the eyes. It's absolutely incredible. Look at this mirror. Huge, absolutely massive. <laughs> Gosh, that would be lovely outside, actually, like an outdoor mirror. I love all of these old benches, too. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be really nice in the kitchen just to have that on the side. Stunning. 
These are like the bottles, the soda bottle that I popped on my bar cart I showed you recently. I've got nice coloured ones, how amazing are they? Even these are really cool. This is like storage for like fruit and veg and whatnot. I clearly come from a shop. I just think that's so nice. I've lost Ewan, <laughs> which is um, completely my fault because I was mesmerised with the ceramic pots from Turkey. But um, I've spent all my budget, 50 pounds is gone, and I have a pound left over. So if I see something for one pound, then um, I'll get it, or I might use that for a coffee. Although I probably won't get a coffee for a pound in London. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look at these armchairs. How amazing are they? Little seats. A lot of the vendors are starting to pack away, so I think we are coming towards the end of this little section but they're still you know I've got the big pieces out so you can have a little look that writing desk is gorgeous as well very nice look at this mirror isn't that amazing so so cool I love the detail of it as well those chairs are <laughs> very very cool I feel like they are a extrovert's dream maximalism in their finest but I love them look at this little old card as well gosh Need some TLC, but that is lovely. Look how incredible that lamp is. That is amazing. <laughs> Gosh, very, very cool. It's just trying to make the most of the last few vendors and their stalls. How lovely are those chairs? Oh my gosh, I love that. And the bar cart. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. This style of furniture, I, just, I think, is so timeless. It's beautiful. And that pedestal table as well. It's just asking for a plant on top, isn't it? Some truly beautiful artworks. So, so lovely. I like this lemon one. That's very nice. Another piece. A piece of artwork acquired that I am so, so happy with. I've wanted a piece like that for so long. So I'll show you that when I'm back to you. Seems like everyone is just packing up. You and save the day. He gave me some of his cash. <laughs> I will give it back to him though. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, people are starting to pack up, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, it's turned out to be a really nice warm day. It's very, very nice. I'm gonna leave with this in mind. So these are what I'm thinking we can pop Maggie's bed in. I was trying to explain to Zara just to make tidy up a little bit. That's perfect. We could just tuck it in around the corners. Very, very I think that's the that's the way we're gonna go. Me and Smitty's first purchase. Very nice. That is lovely. All the way all the way from France. It's gorgeous. Where did you see you got this from? Sorry, France, was it? You got it in France. Amazing, look at that. Very nice. Right? That's good. We are done. You were very successful. I mean, honestly, this is the thing with me though, I have no restraint. <laughs> so there was this lovely woman, we were just leaving, um, she was quite heavily pregnant, so she was asking her um, if I could help with, like, what would you call those, like the little poly trolleys? Yeah. They got this like That's incredible- That's a good idea, like, isn't it? Take a trolley around. I've seen so many people do that, because you can just drag it along. Yeah. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so they got this like chandelier thing and it was incredible. Anyway, and I was saying, oh, it's a good price, you know, it's really good. I was like proper making her feel good about it. Yeah. Just, that's all we do. I just enable myself. I'm like, yeah. I need that. When I'm you got some lovely bits. I did though. I'm very happy. I'll show you guys what we got when, um, well, yeah, you can see what Ewan got on his channel and uh, I'll show you what I got when we're home. But we're about to do a cheeky little trip to McDonald's, which we're going to film Ooh. as a whole separate video, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, We're going to do a little, I think, they, I think the internet cool kids call it a mukbang, but oh, it's basically yeah. we order some food, sit in the car and just have a little chat. So, um, yeah, that's going to be nice. So we're going to drive to McDonald's, but um, I'll catch you. Oh, and we need to do B&Q as well, if you don't yes. mind. So we'll you do that first or after? We'll do that afterwards. You can see B&Q, okay. um, yeah. In this mm -hmm. vlog, right? We just had a McDonald's and now we're heading into B&Q to buy some more supplies for Project Hallway. <laughs> oh gosh, I thought I was done with places like this, but no, apparently not. Just realised I forgot my piece of wood for reference. So, um, yeah, that's essentially what I'm going to need to try and match in here, if they have it. Ah, right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Okay, this is timber supplies, so if anywhere, it's going to be here, I'm going to guess try and match it up to the best that we can. Mm. No, that's too thick. That's too thick as well, too wide. We weren't successful with the wood, but I was successful with some skirt and board paint. So 50% of the way there, there is a trade company that's just down the road, uh, about five minute drive. So we're gonna head there and see if I can get this matched. If not, I might have to ask my mum to send me some <laughs> the post. Right, come to a wood suppliers and I found, not identical, but 
similar. So the guy is just cutting it over here. Okay, so I'm back and Zara told me not to buy anything and I've not, not done that. I've not, I haven't done that. I didn't say not buy anything. I just said don't buy anything unnecessary. But I think it's hard to go to these places and not buy things that are unnecessary. First thing, hello Maggie. Maggie has to sniff all of these things. Is this um, oil painting, still life, of some lemons. This is from a cafe in Paris from 1970. Wow. Isn't that incredible? Do you know, that's why I think I'm not cut out to do these scavenging trips because I'd be like, but how do you know? So it, it was dated, the canvas is dated. Okay. You had it reframed. Isn't that incredible? You can see the cracks, it's over 50 years old. Wow. I was thought in the um, kitchen. Stunning. It's, do you like it? It's nice, isn't it? It's pretty. Tell me that's not nice. Anyway. No, no, it's not nice. Next up, I got this pot from Turkey. It's a Turkish pot. Hello. Telling me where it's from doesn't change. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a ceramic pot which I just think is very, very nice. Um, this was marked £25, but I got it for 20 So yeah, it's a really nice storm pot. This is gonna go on the hallway on the little unit. Um, I think I just thought it contrasts contrast nice against the burgundy. Um, next up, there was this bookseller. These are one in my bedroom, by the way, on my desk. Mm. So she categorized colors of books. How nice are they? Just like on a shelf. So these are like brown tones. These were £10. So all different styles. Nice, right? I just feel like they, they like they're good decor pieces. She said she created something for ITV, um, and she spelled out the ITV in books. And it started in one colour, and then like ITV is like a broadcast channel if you aren't from England. Um, so yeah, cool, right? Lovely. Yeah. Next up, this was two pounds. It's an old Kodak film camera. How cool is that? Yeah, so that you is cool. Twist that. Hello, my <laughs> Comes with the manuals and instruction in there. It's just two whole English pounds. Um, Does it work? Yeah, he said it works. Yeah, yeah, so you pop the front off. Oh, wow. Slide the lens through, in and out. Jobs are good. Two pounds, literally. Look, look through. Wow, I can just see beauty. <laughs> cool, isn't it? Wow, it smells old. Yeah. Yeah, like it does. It's a real old one. So that's going to go next to the shelves. The idea is that like the books will be on the shelf and then that'll be like next to it. Just a nice, you know, you can kind of see the vibe, right? Um, yeah, anyway. Next thing, you and actually spotted these. How nice are they? Yeah. So therefore, my um, chest of drawers in my bedroom. I don't think I've actually. Can you those, please? This is a set of ten, which is the exact quantity I needed. How good is that? Yeah, you and spotted these. They're like brass gold um, drawer handles. Um, yeah, with the backs as well. It's like the back plates go on too. So they're gonna go on my chest of drawers. I just think they look so nice, don't they? Yeah, it's exactly. I needed. How, How much are they? Two pounds. That's yeah. so good. Isn't it? And then the last thing I got is this, which I think is so cool. It's an old enamel. <laughs> you really are enjoying this, aren't you? An old enamel flower pot <coughs> for plain flower. But obviously you don't have to use it for... The idea is that I'm getting all of these kitchen things that one day we'll have like open shelving or like a pantry or something that like... We can have all of the different dry foods, like the nuts and everything. This was 18, but he marked it down to 15 for me because he said he liked me. I know, it's proper tin. I think that's so nice. Do you like that? Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? Where's it going? In my room, in the, in the, um, in my, <laughs> in my pantry on wheels in my room. <laughs> and that's it. That's all I got. Well done you. Yeah. Not too bad, eh? No, I am impressed. You did say 30. When you watch this back, you'll remember your budget No, was I No, I said 30, so I've, got, I've spent double. But there was a lot of nice things. I feel like I've got a lot. You even got like a cord hanger thing from Paris, like a French cat thing. That's all you got. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyway, um, we are going to go to uh, Waitrose to get some, uh, do a food shop. Because we're going to make some soup. So yeah, we need to go. I need soup. Yeah, Zara's not feeling very well at all. How's your day been? You worked hard, you put in the hours, getting yeah. us that garden. Dad, I don't do anything, I just sit and wait for you guys to make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying, Maggie. We're really trying. So we are in Waitrose, we're just doing our little food shop. Um, well, for the week, filming on my, um, on my phone, I forgot my camera. Just getting the bits and bobs, we've got some treats. I'll show you what we got when we are home, and I'm gonna make some soup, um, some butternut squash soup. We made <laughs> our main art board, croissants. Very excited. Some lovely yeah, bits. Oh yeah. yeah. I want to see if they've got the chocolate bar. Oh my god, these are good. I went to the launch of the Christmas day 
These are what we had in hot chocolates, do you remember? Sorry. Yes. These are the Heston Mountain Pennies, they're really good. I wanna get the snowball chocolate thing. Also got the hidden orange chocolate puddings from the Heston range. How cool are they? This is everything we got from Waitrose. It's like our weekly shop. Um we are having um Zara's friend Marta. Well, I say Zara's friend. Mar uh, uh, she's called Marta and Zara used to work with her, but yeah, she's a really good friend, so um we're having her around for some dinner on Friday, so it's got some treats and bits and bobs, like some crisps. We've got some of these, which are delicious. These are the butter and onion twists. They're so good. Some hummus. We've got like a three cheese bake. We're gonna have burgers at the weekend. So we've got some of the Linda McCartney burgers, French fries. We've got some um, pre-chopped butternut squash um, for Maggie. I'm gonna chop the squash for the soup. Eggs, butter, that kind of shebang. We've got a nice pizza for Friday as well. Just feta cheese and caramelized onion. Bagels for breakfast, coconut milk for the soup, some fruit, tea bags. The world's best tea bags. Yeah, Zara's a tea aficionado. If you love tea, the Waitrose Dutchie English breakfast tea bags are really good. And I rate the coffee as well. The coffee's fab. Some rosé, just some bits and bobs. Oh, and I got a copy of the weekend newspaper, which I always get. Oh, and some pan of chocolat. Oh, these are you big um, from Frozen, and they are delicious. And Maggie is having her dinner. Hello, little one. Good girl. <laughs> so this is the ingredients that we're gonna be using for the soup. It's a prime example of just kind of using up what we had with a couple of extra ingredients. So we had a butternut squash that needed using. I had a surplus sweet potato that I chopped up earlier, put in the freezer. And this is some roasted elephant garlic that I had and that I um, formed into little balls and froze. Uh, we've got an onion, some coconut milk, some ginger and a chili carrots as well to add a bit of sweetness. And then we had some leftover bits of bread that we had in the freezer, so there's an end of a sourdough, more sourdough. And then this is a date and hazelnut rye bread that I made. Never trick away bread, just pop it in the freezer. You can bang it in the oven and it heats up beautifully, so yeah. Right, the soup is done. We just Zara literally- Zara has slaved away. You are such a liar. You've helped, no, you've helped massively. It's a base of um, onion and I've put ginger and chili in it to try and help as far as throat. Um, roasted butternut squash, carrot, and sweet potato with, um, that's actually some roasted garlic, and that's it. And coconut milk. Dinner is served. Just pop some pumpkin seeds and some crispy onions on. And then we've got some nice bread that I made. <laughs> You're very happy? Um, yes. Well, that was delicious first soup of the season and the plates speak for themselves. So all the dishes have been cleaned and put away and we've got enough soup for leftovers for me for lunch tomorrow and Zara for dinner because I'm out and then Zara's taking a little portion for her lunch at work. I know if you want to see some soup recipes on Instagram I can do that. It's like a standalone video completely because um, that was delicious. But yeah, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been a really, really lovely day. Today's been a good day, and it makes me really appreciative of the good days. Ewan is just such a good energy to be around, so yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. So if you have, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already. It's completely free, and it helps me out so much. There's nearly 40,000 of us, which is just madness. So um, yeah, lots of love to you all. Take care, and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.